All right, we. Uh, how are you doing on time, Storm? You got more I, time to go? It's getting a little late where I am. Uh, uh, since we've been we've been at it for two hours. Um, so if y'all have to keep going, I may have to bow out. Uh, but that's up to y'all and how you want to uh, proceed. Um, I think we could maybe do. 10 to 15 minutes of cyberpunk if you guys want to go over that then we can call it sure all right that sounds good to me all right so i originally had a article describing some of the cyberpunk stuff but there's uh how should i put this there's too much fucking shit going (laughs) on with cyberpunk it is a complete fucking pr nightmare and even even aside from like all the transphobic shit that's gone on, like through the marketing, whether it's through the cyber official cyberpunk uh, Twitter accounts, the uh, racist dog whistles, uh, both when both within and outside the context of the game. Um, so, so on PC, the game is considered a uh, air quote critical critical success with a Metacritic score of eighty nine. Uh, Metacritic is kind of not a good barometer in the sense that sites that are more critical tend to not have, um, they don't tend to have review scores. They just have the body of text to be exemplary of their thoughts. Mm -hmm. Um, so Metacritic as a result tends to skew a little bit higher. And so on, on PC, if you can get a 3080, which, uh, no one can fucking manage to do that right now, the game looks great. There's some bugs and glitches. That's fine. The console version, on the other hand, um, at least at the time that I made these notes, has a 52 on Metacritic. That is a 37 fucking point difference. Like, sometimes you'll see, like, maybe two or one, but this is 37. Yeah. And that's due to poor performance on the um, last-gen consoles. Uh, It's just, like, really bad graphics. There's a lot of crashes. Um, Mesa, I think you might have been the only one here that's played it now that Sarah's gone. Do you want to go ahead and uh, regale your your adventures along um, with your fantastic car t- suddenly <laughs> turning into another car and then another car <laughs> falling out of the sky for no reason? Oh, it's and you, for reference, you're po- cars and people. When you- Sorry. Oh, did we did we mention the people and cars that disappear when you turn around? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that that, that stupid to... workaround. <laughs> But uh, for reference, this... Mesa, you are playing this on your PS5. Yes, so I this am. is not the version so, that many others were experiencing. So, 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 um, what I basically get is I get the higher resolution, the the PS4 Pro plus 60 FPS. Okay. So, um, it's 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 it's, it's actually playable. <laughs> um, uh, well, so far, uh, I, actually, the the Xbox Series X is the best console version. Um, because that's what the, I've uh, heard. It even lets Xbox, you choose between resolution and performance mm-hmm. mode, as well as the Xbox One X model has a higher, um, uh, higher po- uh, like like city population than PS4. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so that even transfers over to the the higher end consoles. Um, so far, my biggest complaint of, of in terms of performance, if we're just purely about how a video game works. The crashes have been non-stop. Um, it's so frustrating it, to the point where if, or I literally, I'm driving and I'm like, you know, I feel like a crash is going to happen. And about 10 minutes later, it happens. Um, How would you describe it like a, on par compared to like maybe a Bethesda title? It feels like, it feels like, it feels like with us the title before their day one patch. Okay. That's what it feels like. And this is the like day 15 patch just came out. <laughs> Apparently they were still updating the game. Like as they were giving it to uh, reviewers as well, mm-hmm. they were giving like daily updates. Yeah. I, th- I think what's the most egregious of this is uh CG CD project red previously had the, um, had the reputation of being a very pro-consumer company. They're giving free DLC. They're not putting in microtransactions, regardless of your thoughts on those. Mm -hmm. And so they had a lot of goodwill, specifically with The Witcher 3 and those expansions. Um, Their their GOG, their uh, good old game Mm -hmm. storefront, being more more friendly towards smaller developers with their percentage cuts. Mm -hmm. 
And so, so they were like a bastion of like, wow, this is the way that big company should be fucking running stuff. And I've never, I am not someone, I don't consider myself a hype content creator. Like there's some people that like very oddly attach themselves to brands Mm -hmm. and just like hype the, the, the crap out of something. Like it's not even necessarily malicious. That's just not me. That's just not the kind of content that I look for, but it was all marketing on CD projects and just like pushing this front, like pushing, push, pushing their marketing. They did their job. Like kudos to whoever's in marketing. <laughs> you did, you did your fucking job. You deserve a raise. They tricked, they tricked the general public to being excited for a walkie talkie RPG. <laughs> um, and, um, th- but the most egregious thing that uh, CD project red has done is they hid all the footage of the of the last gen versions they would say like oh here's ps4 footage but it's ps4 footage on the ps5 which is running infinitely better and which even at that it's not great (laughs) um so they hit the version that i I don't want to say most people will play because apparently the percentage of people uh, playing at least according to pre-orders i think it's 51 percent are on pc and then you'd you know have to break down the percentages of next of, of I guess current gen compared to last gen, even though uh, those numbers are still low because we're just at the um, we're still in the launch window. Mm-hmm. But that's ostensibly the version that a giant majority of people are going to be playing on is that last gen version, and it's so broken, it's not ready. That needed more time to come out there, and obviously that's not a rank and file. Uh, CD project developer issue that's corporate higher up according to uh, to emergency board meeting like yes the developers were telling upper management this is not ready we need to be delayed every single uh, launch period you've put out is not realistic it's not fucking ready and whether that's shareholders or just solely on leadership is is a whole other issue there's a fantastic but, Bloomberg article about um, the the, the developers asking um the directors of cd project red um and can i read just one quote real quick yeah go for it yeah. also there's a great medium article by someone on this <laughs> podcast describing all of this sorry <laughs> it's all good. It oh, okay here it is um um this is i think it's probably my favorite fo- quote from the entire thing another developer asked whether cg projects directors felt it was hypocritical to make a game about corporate exploitation while expecting their employees to work overtime the response was vague and non-committal <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just I like feel... they pissed away so much of the i'm sorry i'll just go into this i'll let you go after blaine um it, they pissed away so much of their fucking goodwill built from the witcher 3 like they're like we're pro consumer but we're going to hide the thing that lets you make an educated fucking consumer purchase so that we can get your money that that's it's so such a blatantly fucked up thing to do for someone who for a company that's holding themselves into that position um I'm sorry Blaine go ahead no that's fine i feel like something i've been thinking about all day today cuz this is um this isn't the first time i've talked about this today is I think back to Fallout New Vegas. Ironically enough, apparently one of my favorite YouTubers posted a video about Fallout New Vegas tonight, and I've been hyped as fuck to watch it. Later yeah, I got the show. DM'd during the podcast. It was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I DM'd my friends like, oh, this is this is he's like hyping it up, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, it's just out. But anyway, um, I think about New Vegas actually today after discussing how. Obsidian was handed the Bethesda Game Works, like uh, the, the, the Bethesda Game Studios engine of Fallout 3 and assets, and told, You got a year. Fucking make make a spin off. Do it. And they were like, What? And they, No, do it. So they did it, and they managed to make what is still arguably the best 3D Fallout ever made. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's just despite, a fact. Yeah, Correct. despite, despite the, despite, again, being fucked up as hell on release i mean you know they had bug fixes later i remember playing the vanilla version after they had already started like patching and almost like i had trouble playing and getting into it and then playing the complete version like years later and being like oh, this is phenomenal and all my issues have disappeared um like that was a year year in change and under not a choice but like bethesda telling obsidian you got this amount of time fucking do it or, or whatever and 
they had like eight years from announcement, like more about, but really I think what is that the figure is about five to four actual solid developments, actually like coding and shit like that. So um like the fact that they had that much time to work on it, and the fact that like I mean, we know CD Projekt Red has money. We know they have money to back a thing. They made The Witcher. They That is a darling. I still haven't played it, and I'm actually kind of glad I haven't because I have nothing attached yeah. to that company other than using good old games. Ugh. Um, But, like, the the fact that, like, that, that you know that they're getting all this, that people, the fact they made their money back in a day, just on pre-orders, from what I understand, like, and are making more money on top of that... There's no ex- there's no excuse for why the game either wasn't. I know then this isn't me calling out developers on the ground level. This is me talking about management. There's no reason that this either wasn't done properly and released the re- released in a playable state, or at the very least, they weren't able to take as much time as they needed to and not crunch the shit out of their workers. Because I know when extension delays usually don't mean less crunch; they usually mean more ungodly crunch. But there's just no there's no there's no the fact that the game is in the state it is the fact that you have developers that you have these calls getting leaked and that developers telling the people up the up the stairs like you can't release it like this like it's just it blows my mind it blows my mind that this is what it's come you know i think like one of you, one other aspect of it is just like i don't think like people have already been used to this game getting delayed like people would not have cared if it got pushed back even further and like no, if it came have. if it came down to the last gen hardware holding it back just fucking cancel it like if you don't yeah. want to put in that work if you'd rather spend the your resources improving the uh current gen and pc version that would that could be a smart decision but just fucking cancel it don't hide this shit and then let people buy it it's jose that's you don't understand up. They, 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 they need to make sure they still get the good, the credit of the true gamers that support them and, you know, handing oh. out, like, little hypothetical money tokens to their employees instead of actually giving uh, I, I mean, oh, I was going to say that, like, the, the big problem here is not... The big problem here is that delays are good, and the majority of gamers with a capital G don't believe that. They just get pissy, they're entitled... But the reality is every game, more or less, that gets delayed is better than what would have come without the delays. Mm -hmm. I would give some slight critique to that in the sense that delays often create more crunch for developers. Also, Also, with this particular thing, sure, delays, delay, delay. As Blaine said, around four or five years of actual game development, there's only a certain time where if the people at the top don't change a delay is not going to fix it that's yeah. true that's very true it's like how much more mismanaged like like i bring up fallout new vegas because that was already mismanaged by bethesda mm-hmm. going on top of the studio this is like you're in-house and man yeah. you're still mismanaged and how badly is it mismanaged that your in-house development team you couldn't let them do what they need to do and not work them into the ground oh you know? yeah and um so just as a as a result of all this, uh, CG Project Red took to their famous uh, yellow background with black text on it. <laughs> that is such a fucking ugly ass color. I'm sorry. Like, just like, did they not go to elementary? School? You, you don't do that. It, it's, they just don't. It's, it's an eyesore. Um, yeah, they put out a statement saying that players that purchase digital versions of the, um, I guess, uh, uh, digital versions from either PlayStation or Xbox that they should contact those respective. Uh, uh, companies in order to seek refunds but that's a pretty fucking hollow statement when the stated refund policy for both microsoft and sony is if you already downloaded it you're not eligible for a refund so that's basically cg project saying yeah you can get a refund except you fucking can't like it's such a fucking slap in the face oh get a refund go to sony sony we're not going to do that what are you talking about call cd project red excuse me bitch Right, yeah, and, then, and, and like the what's wild about this is that the story, like every day, it just got crazier. Right, like, I had to keep updating my crazier. article. I'm like, come on, just get it straight. Let me let me just do this one night, put it away. I don't gotta <laughs> worry about it. Because what was the day after? Um, because and um, I was just got done listening to a podcast at work where yes, it is pretty confirmed that Sony's pretty fucking pissed off at mm-hmm. uh, CD Projekt Red for trying to put 
uh, the onus responsibility on Sony to like issue these refunds um, because it goes directly against their state policy. So Sony has come out and said like, yes, we will issue refunds, go ahead and contact us here, whatever. Um, but they just straight up delisted Cyberpunk from PSN. You cannot mm-hmm. fucking buy it digitally. Correct. Mm-hmm. And that that's just big Sony uh, fuck you energy straight, and straight to CDPR. I can't it think is, of it has never game. happened. Yeah. There, there's been stuff on like the publisher side. Like obviously there's the uh, the PT thing with Konami. Sure. There was um, um, Afro Sky, Samurai. Afro yes. Samurai. Afro Sky, Samurai, you're right. Skybound temporarily taking down the that's the uh, Telltale games. Mm-hmm. And then but it's them never up. been like this where the no. company, like the, the, provo- the public, not the publisher, but like Sony, the game in town saying we're taking your game down. Like, it's yeah, just- like this mm-hmm. wasn't a rights issue or a lapse nope. of anything. This is literally Sony going, well, if this is this, this is, it's such a big risk for us to keep selling this game that we'd rather just stop sales and refund yep. because mm-hmm. otherwise we're going to be bleeding like a stuck pig. And another the fact. That- oh, go on. Right? Oh, Amazing. okay. Well, I was gonna. Ask, I was gonna. Ask, another thing is, this is probably also gonna change how these companies handle day one patches. Oh yeah, mm. because for a lot of for like bigger companies, well known companies, you know, they go they go to Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo and say, "Hey, I know this 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 is an issue that doesn't pass cert, but these will be fixed by by day one patch. You have our guarantee. Mm-hmm. And if it's like you know a big enough title, you know, we'll be like, all right, that's probably gonna go away now." Yeah, they're probably going to be it's like, no, nah, have a working, have a working model of that that is going to be, or like sign some kind of agreement that if it's not that, that like I don't know some I don't know how that would work, but some kind of legal agreement that no one would sign unless they. Well, really that what? Okay, yeah. The, 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 I mean, from what I understand, there originally was that legal agreement. Oh. But it was so it wasn't that <laughs> bad. It wasn't, but it was probably you're probably thinking of consequences that were probably worse than the the actual legal agreement, I right? Guess, yeah. Which would be better. Like, I mean, something that that still pisses me off about this is, like, they've had the time to make... Uh, uh, Jeff from SDGC has actually talked at length about this. Mm-hmm. Probably going to end up paraphrasing it without meaning to. But literally, they've had they've had time to, to make a new we're saw we, we fucked up fucking post of, like, a million different things as far as, like, oh, the bugs. Oh, the we told you to get a refund. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we fucked up and didn't actually have permission to do those refunds and all this other shit. I have not seen... I have personally reached out to both CD Projekt Red and the Cyberpunk main Twitter on Twitter about the fact that their toxic fan base is going after and attacking literally anybody who is even mildly critical of the game, unless it's yep. specifically about the... Some of it, even if it is the bug. The fact that, like, someone that they worked with, uh, Liana Rupert, I'm sorry if I mispronounced her name was who found the the epilepsy issue the key mm-hmm. epilepsy issue supposedly worked directly with them and they directly responded to her like oh we're working on a patch for this and blah 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 i never once saw them address their fan base and go hey guys stop sending this reporter epileptic seizure inducing videos disguised so, as something else that's fucking in order disgusting. to actually do that they never comment on that nope but they know that they need to say something about the thing that's going to hurt their pocket. But as long as their fan base mm-hmm. it doesn't care about keeping people up there like seizures, they'll just pretend. Like, it, 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 it fucking infuriates. Absolutely. We get sorry you, you were offended about the transphobia. But then I'll have... I still... It seems to have stopped. But up until, like, two days ago, I still had a chuckle fuck responding to, like, weak old tweets of, like, what exactly is transphobic in <laughs> cyberpunk? I'm like, bitch... I'm a trans woman who's just who's gotten laid off by COVID and has a mom dealing with like medical procedures. I don't got time to answer your fucking bullshit. Do a goddamn ghouls. It was just mismanaged from toe to tip. I mean, Absolutely. it's just exactly. it's just at every point where they could have made the wrong choice, they made the wrong choice, and it's astonishing. It's it's unlike there's ne- like I I'm seeing local news coverage. Of cyberpunk, which I've never seen, like you know, fucking New York Paul. Times writing about, yeah. it. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and some folks that might be what you're talking about. I'm sorry. No, I mean I'm talking about all of it, like even just news channels on TV too, showing stuff about it because it just it transcended the gaming community because of what a wild trash fire it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, and just building off the Sony stuff, the day after um, Xbox is also. Offering refunds, which is a bit weird of weirder of a situation because they have a marketing deal with CD Projekt Red because yeah. all their marketing stuff was shown at Xbox conferences and whatnot. 
And now yeah. apparently CD Project Red is also offering uh, refunds for retail copies if um, consumers aren't able to return them to the place of purchase. But I mean, like on one hand, like, yes, tiny little clap for doing for doing this. But it shouldn't have come to this in the fucking first place. Mm-hmm. It's the bare minimum. They're doing the bare minimum yeah, now to absolutely. save face. And it's and not honest, And like times like these, um, I know, you know, they, they're, they, they're not great either. You know, they, 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 they got a lot of issues Nintendo does. But like Breath of the Wild, they worked on it for five, for like five years, I think. They delayed it when they needed to. From what I understand, there's, there's reports that they, they do not crunch at Nintendo. Um, it came out, it was polished, it was good, they knew what they wanted to and aimed for it and worked on it until they got there. And it's just, it's just, it's just, it just makes me really appreciate them in the industry sometimes, you know? I think it comes back to that, that famous, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, um, um, phrase, a delayed game Mario's is eventually. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, a delayed game is eventually good. However, I just don't know what's going on with Cyberpunk. Did they even test this? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to act to well actually you, and then I was like, oh, no, this is good. This is a bit. Uh, but uh, I guess before we sign off on this story, I very specifically want to uh, put a spotlight on the on some of the more fucked up shit about. Uh, cyberpunk the, about the transphobia uh they have in-game ads and they even had marking material with a trans mm-hmm. model with the penis and a skin tight outfits uh mm-hmm. with the tagline of 16 flavors you'd love to mix um sexualizing uh transgender people so i want i want to say about that particular piece of art that i remember when that first came out the artist came out the one the person who made it i believe it was a woman came out and said you know uh I, I I I designed this so that it would be um, about you know how these companies are are taking bodies and sexualizing them for profit, right? I think and in a bub. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was supposed to say I believe her in her intent as an artist in making that image. I I don't believe I strongly don't believe that CD Projekt even had a remote remote of an idea of that. When when getting it and using it, and they're just like, oh, it's funny art, haha, and put it in the game. You know, I, I think for me, there's a lot of things that are tied into it. It's because uh, obviously, when you combine it with the giant list of stuff, it it kind of builds credence <laughs> towards the opposite direction. Yeah, but it's also if you create a fucked up piece of content, then you you don't engage with it. If you don't provide critique, if it just exists mm-hmm. in the world, that just becomes the status quo. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna be real blunt for another minute here Mm -hmm. um i i've read that quote and i know i do want to believe that she had the best of intentions i'm gonna be real i don't give a fuck what her intentions were unless she's a trans woman and i'm not aware of this and she was trying to like do some reclamation shit i don't fucking care just stop just fucking cis people stop fucking doing that thing of like oh i want to do something nice for the trans folks and then you have like a grade schooler's fucking understanding of this shit or rather let me let me rephrase this like a cis person thinking that they've had this brilliant idea of I'm going to be subversive with a transgender character and don't talk to any trans people. And then you do some shit that we've seen time and time again. Fucking stop it. All right. I'm a woman with a dick. I can be sexual when I want to and everything else, but I'm just, don't fucking give me that bullshit of, well, I, because there are little quote from my members like, well, I find this character sexy and that's, and you know, but this is okay. I, do, I, for, I forgot then, that part of the no, quote. No, 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 no. Like it's, it's not your fault because the <laughs> no, quote no, itself no. is not super toxic. <laughs> it's just that it's like, well, I, oh, I find the character sexy regardless. And I, you know, this is about, like you, like you said, Maybe like oh this is about um the the corporations taking this and perverting it or using this to do a bad thing but then like there's nothing as jose yeah. pointed there's nothing to balance it against there's mm-hmm. one trans character in the game supposedly that is actually well written or something and i've seen trans people not even realize that character is trans until other people have pointed it out in the game. and granted again you shouldn't 
in the same way you don't need a Mexican character in a game to be a stereotype with a sombrero and blah, 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 you also don't need a trans person talking about her dick every five seconds. But mm -hmm. I don't know. There's just something about that disconnect where you have trans people criticizing this to hell and back, not even aware of that character. And then people are like, well, wait, what about this character? And even then, that's your one trans character. Yet you have the Watson Horad, which is disgusting. Trans woman mm -hmm. vomiting the toilet and with her balls on display. You have the Chromanticure fucking ad that's just the big neon glowing dick and mix it up that might i add they had a cosplay contest and one of the runner-up finalists was a cis woman who cosplayed the woman from that ad like oh, wow like fuck i'm sorry i ranted i just no, i fucking good. hate this game i hate it <laughs> and i'm so tired of cis people not y'all cis people who refuse to fucking listen and used to step outside their own fucking bubble like maybe we don't want you to do us this fucking favor if you can't even fucking grasp it like go fuck yourself at that i'm in full agreement with that um yeah. just just to go down to the list of, like some of the other shit that they've done is uh doing like very shitty fucking right wing and anti sgw dog whistles of uh yeah. Mm -hmm. of, uh, did you just assume their gender obviously in bad faith and then when people called them out on their shits they did the typical oh, well God. I'm sorry you got offended I'm not sorry mm -hmm. I did it yep um, so that choice of words is uh, co-opting a, a pro transgender hashtag via the good old games twitter and then again doing the whole oh we're just gonna stick to games we, we didn't we stepped out of our wheelhouse it's like no you just shouldn't fucking open your mouth you don't know what you're mm-hmm um, there's on, there's also yeah. um, related uh, dog whistles, such as the uh, I'll, I'll read the quotes. According to NCPD statistics, this model is found in as many as 17% of reported accidents in Night City, despite making up only 2% of all registered vehicles, which is a fucking uh, nod to a, um, a very false... Um, a uh, black crime statistic. Yeah, thirteen fifty. Mm -hmm. So you, there's people in that studio that are very, uh, they're Absolutely. very right wing. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's straight up white fucking nationalism. It's it's worth mentioning that there's big red zone, Poland that are self declared anti LGBT or LGBTQAA free zones. Mm -hmm. Um, nationalism is on the rise up there. White nationalism specifically. Um, fascism seems to be on the rise, which is fucking both. It's, not even ironic it's just sad mm -hmm. and i mean the anti the homophobia over there is rampant like, it's a fucking shit show i guess it's just surprising to me that like, like when this stuff first started pouring out is because you know like they were known for the witcher and the witcher novels i'm not done reading through all of them i'm kind of lagging behind on on reading through um tower of swallows but those are very progressive books in a lot of ways they're they're like just for example, they're very, very fucking pro-choice. Um, mm -hmm. But it's just weird that a studio would take a very progressive thing and then they turn around. It's like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of fucking right-wing shitheads doing their cyberpunk thing. It's Correct me if I'm wrong, Jose. Weren't you the one that pointed out... And this isn't a gotcha. This is, I mean, I'm agreeing with you. Weren't you the one that pointed out that in the Witcher novels, Geralt is actually... Sorry, Geralt is actually... Um, oh no, you said it right the first time. Yeah. I did? Yeah, yeah. Geralt. Yeah. Yeah. Geralt. Oh, I had someone yell at me about that. Um, <laughs> they are wrong. Geralt, <laughs> Geralt is, has uh, is a disability in the in the books from a certain mm -hmm. point onwards, and it never goes away. In the games, right. they don't address that at all. They just pretend nope. it doesn't happen. Correct. Yeah. So, also, the, yeah. the 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 game celebrates uh, battering women in a way that's uncomfortable. Um, there's a lot of violence towards women in the games, mm -hmm. um, and I love The Witcher Three, and I love The Witcher games but like people people pretended i think to a degree that cd project red was more progressive than they are there's some great stuff in the witcher and there are some things that are done really well with those kinds of narratives and um a, a, and even some queerness in in them as well but it just they've not they're not the progressive studio that people made them out to be just because they had the appearance of and i think it's all coming to light here with yeah. everything that's happened over the last year they love to pr I'll fucking drop another hot take. They love to push on their in Twitter how like Project Red Twitter about like oh cultural diversity in our place. And yet, if you do a search for LGBTQIA and or LGBTQA or IA and CD Project Red's Twitter, no results, none. Yeah. No top results. You search LGBTQ cyber. There's my dog. <laughs> if you search LGBTQ and cyberpunk, um, 
I'd rather CD Projekt Red's Twitter, you get tweets from people adding CD Projekt Red's Twitter. Right. You get things like of them selling their Pride t-shirts and whatnot, or people who were wearing the Pride t-shirts. Mm -hmm. There has never been, as far as I've been able to search, and I think Jeff from SGGC did a similar search and couldn't find mm -hmm. anything. There's no mention of any, like, oh, hey, happy Pride, or, or, or any kind of acknowledgement of the LGBT community by their Twitter. There is, the closest thing I found was there was CD Projekt Red ch changing their Facebook profile picture in certain right. countries to a Pride logo involving their logo, but then in, like, Saudi Arabia, they didn't change it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, they clearly, and, um... they clearly don't give a shit unless it is something they are to address. And even then, it seems like that's not enough. And uh, I guess just one last thing I want to do before we wrap up, just because... Uh... It's going on a bit. Um, yeah, I, it, it did piss me off that the game, like like when it says like, oh, you can put whatever genitals you want. Mm -hmm. um, it, it comes off as, as a very shitty like, oh, ha ha ha. You can put a fucking dick on whatever uh, with a, especially with a fucking slider or whatever. But um, locking the locking pronouns to the masculine voice. or feminine voice is, is yeah. fucked up. Yeah, it, is. It, it just goes against what they were trying to supposedly mm -hmm. do to be progressive yeah. they brought all that up after the backlash against the chromanticure ad and everything else while still not really apologizing for it and then fuck that up yep and on top of that like um i remember like when someone was like oh there's only like because what well, there's like four there's like four or six options for dicks but it's really like two dicks with multiple sizes meanwhile mm -hmm. i think there's like almost no options for a vagina there's one Nope. There, but, yeah, oh, wait, I, guess I guess technically there's two but it's uh, do you want one or do you don't yeah. That's oh, do it. you want it? Do you want to be a Ken doll or not? That's exactly. Stupid. That's stupid. I mean, it's Which, fine that that option exists, but there should be more if you're going to make a big deal out of it. I, yep. Honestly, it shouldn't exist in the game in the day. first place. All right. It, I think that's worthless. going to. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up just because we're tight on time. Uh, any last Sorry words for from anybody? So no, I know oh, no, it's all good. good. Man. It was important. Mm -hmm. It's worth saying. And you know what sucks about this even more? At least for me personally, so far. Is that these are also some of the best side quests in a walkie-talkie RPG I've ever played. That's what I've heard now. Is that I've this game too. is also fantastic. Yeah. And it's oh so frustrating. <laughs> it's so I've annoying. Heard, I've heard that, and then I see the clip that's like V saying saying, Oh, not all cops are bastards. And then I found out that apparently the shit kicked out of them by cops in the opening. Oh, oh, one yeah. of the one of the one of the things, yeah. It's it's yeah, it's stupid. This game is <laughs> this is a stupid game made by stupid people, and like ten of ten of those thirty stupid people made a good game. <laughs> 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 All right, Blaine and Mesa, thank you for being uh, continual hosts on here, and thank you very much to Storm for uh, for coming on. It's thank been you a for long having... journey, but I'm glad to have you here. <laughs> My, yeah, it was, thank you again for having me on. Um, I I knew everyone um, except Mason before this call, but I hope to get to know you after. Uh, this has been great. Um, I, I I really dig the show. Sincerely, I enjoy it, and it's been a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll try to salvage what audio I can from the beginning. <laughs> so if you want to drop your your links and uh, your plugs right here, feel free. Sure. Uh, I mean, really simply and really quickly, uh, I do a bunch of different podcasts. You can find everything that I work on at djstormageddon.com. Um, I stream. I host four different podcasts. I produce eight different podcasts. Um, but uh, definitely go check it out. And if you want to keep up with the day-to-day -day of what I'm working on, the best place is Twitter, which is DJ underscore Stormageddon. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out. And we will maybe, maybe not do an episode next week because that's the day after Christmas and I'm going to be Tired and sleepy. Yeah. Tired and sleepy <laughs> is a big mood. Big, big mood. So for like 10 hours today. All right. Thank you guys. And we All will right. see you next time. Bye, Bye everybody.